Manchester is in mourning. Vast crowds gathered outside the city's town hall for a special vigil. Standing shoulder to shoulder, figures from across the political divide and religious leaders from all faiths and backgrounds. We're sending a signal, not just to Manchester, but across the world, that you cannot defeat us because love, in the end, is always stronger than hate. Yeah. Yeah. Manchester may be wounded, but it's also defiant, coming together as one community during one of its darkest moments. In the wake of this attack, there are also echoes of the kind of spirit seen in other European cities, in St. Petersburg, in Paris, in Berlin, in Nice, in London. Europe's great cities brought even closer together through tragedy. This was the moment when an evening of fun and excitement turned into one of horror. My God! <laughs> Captured as ever in our age on camera phones and shared on social media. The explosion happened just as the concert was ending near a packed exit. The American pop singer Ariana Grande is especially popular with teenage girls and even younger children. Whoever did this set out to kill as many of them as possible. People around us were just screaming, crying. There was fathers carrying the little girls who were in tears. We came out at the main doors and down the stairs and people were pushing down the stairs. It was just, it was chaos. Police say the attacker was a single man with an improvised explosive device, a suicide bomber. On Tuesday evening, they named their suspect believed to be British-born of Libyan descent. I can confirm that the man suspected of carrying out last night's atrocity is 22-year-old Salman Abidi. Our priority, along with the police counter-terrorist network and our security partners, is to continue to establish whether he was acting alone or working as part of a wider network. The Prime Minister, who earlier had travelled to Manchester to show her support for the police and victims, announced she was raising the country's terror threat level from severe to critical, meaning another attack is imminent, the highest it's been for a decade. Armed police officers responsible for duties such as guarding key sites will be replaced by members of the armed forces, which will allow the police to significantly increase the number of armed officers on patrol in key locations. In Manchester, hospitals are at full stretch. The victims include people with life-threatening injuries. For the British police, urgent questions, even as they carry out raids and arrests on the edge of Manchester. Was security adequate at the concert? Did the attacker act alone or did he have a support network? Who gave him the explosives? And are further attacks planned? Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Manchester.